Hi, I'm Mark from the ATV Guys, and today we got a little something special. Watch this. We finally got our hands on it. Oh yeah. The all new Yamaha Wolverine R Max 1000. Yes, a 1000 cc engine, well 999 for if you really care about it, uh, on the Wolverine platform. Is this a Wolverine? Eh. Not a Wolverine anymore. Well, it is a Wolverine, but it's not a Wolverine. Well, not the Wolverine I used to know. Remember the first Wolverine when it came out back in 2015? 708cc single cylinder. Everything was perfect about that thing. I reviewed it. I loved it. It was insane. Problem is... Uh, the engine had asthma. <laughs> it just ran out of steam and had, it was uh, electronically limited, ran out of power. End of 2017, I think. Yeah, they announced the Wolverine X2, X4. Oh, hell yeah, an 850. Parallel twin, uh, much better, much better power off the line, much better acceleration, much better everything. The only thing, electronically limited top speed. Is there anything more annoying when you buy something, or you're right, you, you, you just drive a UTV, and the suspension, the handling, the steering is good enough, you know it can take more, but the manufacturer just puts a set of handcuffs on the engine and says, no, no, that's enough. 84 clicks is enough. Now we got this. <laughs> so this one has a brand new engine. It's an uh, it's a 999 cc if I'm not mistaken, but it's not the the engine of the YXZ. It's a two cylinder parallel twin and. Uh, is very similar to the 850. I think it's the same 850 basic design. It's just that they hopped it up to a thousand cc, which is actually pretty easy. You know, punching from 850 to 999, not that hard. So I think that that's pretty much it because the, the engine design, the, the sound, the tone of the engine is the same as the 850. So I think it's uh, an overboard 850. Now, What's cool about this thing is this thing's got finally something in, it's not a utility anymore. It's like a sport utility. It's a, it's a UTV, but uh, it's got some serious riding pretense. And this is, a, this is a driver's machine to start with. It's got a tilting bed. Might make it pass with the misses. Say, hey, I'm gonna buy this. We're gonna carry stuff around. <laughs> That's about what it is to it. It, it can still tow 2,000 pounds. It will hold 600 pounds in a bed. But the rest, the rest is all go. So this, this one is shot on, uh, uh, on uh, Maxxis uh, carnivore tires, which I like a lot. Very, very nice tire, nice, nice tread pattern. It's not too busy in a tread pattern. Why I love it is because if you ever winter ride, these are gonna be pretty nice. If the pattern is too tight, it's not gonna ride fine. So on suspension, we've got the uh, Fox uh, QS3. The, about the easiest adjustable shocks in the industry, soft, medium, hard. And it, it, you can actually feel what it's doing. So soft, medium to hard, you, you, you really feel it. Uh, so it's, it's a double A-arm 
suspension front and back but look how stout these components are look at the lower a arm that thing is huge and it's got in the back seven almost 17 inches of shock travel which is very very good up front uh, it's going to be a little bit different still with the same config basic configuration of a yamaha but uh, it's got arc day arms so you get a lot of ground clearance this is something i'm going to get back to and look at the way they designed the top the top a arm like this thing is made for battle it's built like a freaking tank so uh one, one nice nice little thing this one is uh the top end top end level which comes with a worn winch yay and look at these tow hooks when i loaded it up in a trailer actually the the first thing i noticed is these tow hooks so you can actually uh, do a four point tie down with it the legal type of tie down and uh, this you know it's a it's a cinch to tie it down and look at that isn't that thing gorgeous <laughs> so suspension is very very nice i, I like the the black look you don't see these uh, these often don't see much of these still the qs qs3 piggybacks so this this will do the job you got a nice sway bar i haven't ridden it yet i only put it in the trailer so i just wanted to show you and talk to you about the features that i found on it first thing is holy beans this thing is gorgeous very very beautiful and uh, oh check this out this thing's got full doors right just take a listen to this <laughs> no uh, rackety clunky stuff it's uh I, it's very stout door and the way they built it you know on the inside here it, it's reinforced we're not going to talk about the inside yet because there's still a lot of features on this thing i want to talk about so you got this bed so that you got the work pretense <laughs> little pretense of being able to do some work you know towing is good but look at the stance on oh ho, ho, ho. ground clearance is an amazing and it's not written on a website but just by eyeballing it we're over 16 way over 16 inches of ground clearance on the machine this thing is made to crawl rocks uh, it, it's made it's made this this thing this thing could actually be awesome in mud hmm i think i'm gonna go try it in mud i still gotta wash it so i'm not gonna go easy at it but if you look at this thing just the way it is the way it's sitting it's just gorgeous comes with the roof very important i don't like driving a utv without a roof I can go uh, I can go without a windshield not a problem but roof is a necessity now one thing this thing is gonna be dead quiet look at the size of that exhaust like <laughs> it's practically the whole practically the, the whole width of the bike this is huge <clears throat> but it's it's a quiet it's a quiet ride so it's a quiet machine and it's, it was designed to be to be very very quiet first of all it's got uh it's not a dry clutch it's a wet clutch system the ultramatic uh yamaha clutch system which uh it, from just uh bombing around with you know driving it up in a trailer out of the trail it's buttery smooth and you cannot burn a belt on one of these if you burn a belt on one of these uh you asked for it so it's smooth shifting oh my god the shifting is really really awesome like the paint scheme it comes with the optional mirrors and they're they're actually using assault mirrors and i love those by the way they're expensive you can sell a left kidney to buy one but uh, awesome quality build on these things now 
check out the passenger accommodations you got this huge glove box and you got this adjustable because this is adjustable see this you push it in and you can actually adjust it so when you got the kitties especially here in Quebec uh, you got you can have someone pretty small seven eight year old sitting in here comfortably but uh, talking about comfort <laughs> watch the check out these seats typical Yamaha seats always always comfortable I love love that out of Yamaha so comfortable seat a little bit of storage here well actually one of a very very large glove box actually enjoy that the older I get the more stuff I carry with me so I like to be able to start all in the same place the only thing that annoys me there's there's no external handle but you know it's, it's, it's easy to reach I love the way it opens and closes it's like hot dang now one little thing something I hated about the Wolverines is I love the the, the the size of it but what I don't like is it's the cover used to be really really flimsy so now what you got it's two levels you can actually remove this thing can you remove it you can't remove it well that kind of sucks but still storage I guess they needed the space that's what I think yeah they really needed the space down there and you, you, you get a tire gauge and a toolkit thank you Yamaha but at least the cover see that <laughs> it's not flimsy and it's padded so it's gonna be really comfortable for your for your uh, right arm there's still no park I don't understand why they don't put a park feature on this thing but it's got a very stout handbrake so and it's easy to apply and remove it's perfect on that side so you know I'm just little gripes the uh, remote internal remote for the front winch you want switches you can put switches here you can put switches there and What's missing here is the entertainment and information system that's the dealer installed option this is this one has all the trimmings it's the xr xtr i think this this one has everything uh, but that system you saw in in the advertisement in the youtube videos from yamaha is a dealer installed options from what i was told uh, from francois which is the eastern sales manager for yamaha canada so you can get this installed there's already accommodations for speakers inside the doors there is a system a sound system you can get uh, for it with a subwoofer and everything so it's got all the trimmings for having a lot of fun and if we look here we've got two-wheel drive four-wheel drive diff lock which is standard we got lights I love the switches on a Yamaha they're you know they're positive they feel positive they're nice and big but look at this thing so we got tri mode engine mapping so there's a sport mode trail mode and a crawl mode so this this thing is supposed to be a very very good rock crawler especially in lock mode uh, the, the Yamaha with their their the way they diff lock uh, their system is just a no-brainer and these things are stout out of the box and this thing has been reinforced what I was told so this thing is made to be beaten <laughs> so this is what you get when you start it up so basic you get the D mode here which sport trail crawl so you got your modes here at EPS you know, mo most of these things most of these things uh, are standard see the parking brake but I love the ergonomics I love the seats and the, the seats are on rails so oh, I just backed it up a little bit so for my six foot almost three frame 
uh, it's very nice the only annoying thing I hate about the interior is this thing it's a safety feature and I understand it but dang the only thing because I'm, I'm I'm a pretty big guy and I just I just always have this nagging gotta find things to talk about but this is that that kind of nags me but for for the rest listen uh, the ergonomics inside of this thing are just awesome you got the adjustable steering and you can go up and down and you still get a good visibility of the what's happening with the uh, the information center the cluster the instrument cluster so and it's nice and readable Today it's we're having crappy weather. Sorry about that, but I ordered sun and they gave me gray skies. So this is what I got for today. But uh, we're going to ride this thing today, and uh, this is uh, this is the 2021 Yamaha R Max. I haven't been this excited about a UTV launch in a long time, but this is my kind of ride i like the sport the sporty ones like uh, i own a, a yxz i own a few a few machines oh yeah one thing you see this check this out if i flip this thing when and by the way this thing is buttery smooth and shifting but if i put this thing in reverse ta-da backup lamps how about that so you can actually, uh, and actually they're, they're, they're bright. So you can actually see where you're backing up at night. But this is a feature that I've only found in, uh, in Yamaha up to now. So, but, oh, I love this gearbox. Oh my God. This, and it's just like that with the engine on or off, huh? <laughs> and there's there's no no hits you don't feel nothing that's because of the transmission system uh, from Yamaha the Ultramatic there's a wet clutch and this one's supposed to be a heavy-duty wet clutch there's a wet clutch in the system that prevents it always keeps a little bit of tension on the belt and we'll make this thing buttery smooth to launch to, re to reverse and the, the engagement uh, from just in, in out of the trailer and the parking lot of Yamaha Canada is just smooth you don't feel a thing so again this is the XTR trim the top of the line it comes as is from factory except for the mirrors that were installed because they, they're uh, mandatory by law to be able to ride them especially here in my province of Quebec. Now, this is awesome. I can't wait to go ride this thing in the trails later on today. This is Mark from the UTV guys and uh, 